two final products up for unboxing and review this season, 2017, Magic Shine's MJ900B and MJ902B. Um, there's also a third in the lineup that offers 3200 lumens. I won't be reviewing that light, at least not this season. The two lights are virtually identical in terms of their sort of overall design. Obviously the outputs are different and therefore the, the beam pattern, the emitters are different and there's also a different battery. But besides that, they offer some of the same features. We will focus first, of course, on the 900B. So the package contents, as you can see, are the battery, a strap for securing the battery, recharging cable. We'll get into what this does, a little uh, end cap for the battery, a mounting strap for the light manual, and of course the light itself. Starting with the battery, this is maybe the most notable change I can see in this product versus others from earlier in the year. There's a whole new design of the battery. I guess we'll start at the back here to sort of illustrate some of these changes. First of all, the battery has a an indicator here. If you select the power button, you can actually see a remaining charge on the battery itself rather than needing to have the light connected with a display. There's your charging port here, and they've now added this option to charge other devices with an output USB port. Now, this um, power selection button here is basically how you enable that. So if you were to plug in a USB port to charge your phone or maybe a GPS device or something of that nature, you would just select that power button to turn on that function. There's a nice cover for the back there to do that. For this particular light, the battery sizes are different from model to model, but for, for this one, it's very, very compact. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is probably 218, 650 batteries. Um, there's also been a change to this cord, which is really interesting. You can pinch these two orange tabs and then you can essentially remove this power cord. And what that allows you to do is have this as a charger for yourself, or if you had this somehow secured to your bike in some fashion, you could remove the battery from that to bring it inside and charge. So it really provides something that is very compact. Now that dust cap that I mentioned before, right here, pretty self-explanatory. That's just for covering, covering this up if you do remove it and protecting those contacts. There's another change here, and that's actually to the um, power cord. Previous ones I reviewed were very challenging to actually, not challenging to get it inserted, but to get it removed, the fitting was so tight. Um, not, not something I particularly liked. This one, a bit different. There isn't a really, really tight snap it's more almost almost rubber, almost it almost seems to flex, I guess you could say. And it seems like it'll have a nice watertight connection as well, but it's significantly easier to connect and disconnect. Again, this is the MJ900B light. Max claimed output of 1,000 lumens. The emitter in this light, the Cree XML2, so the second generation XML, and uh, Cree's own maximum theoretical output is 1,000 lumens for this lamp, so you certainly won't be exceeding that. Now, any of the models that have the B designator on them are Bluetooth, and I'm gonna make a separate video for that because there's so many features to the app that I just want one video for that because I'll be reviewing numerous of these Bluetooth lights. As for the construction of the headlight here, same strap as they've always had, it takes a bit of effort to get, so I'm doing this backwards, a bit of effort to get that strap on, hooked onto the front of the light. But once you do, it's very secure and uh, I won't waste your time here. You'll simply wrap it back and secure it on the backside and the backside is much easier to secure it to once that front is hooked in. There's a nice rubber shoe on the bottom to protect your handlebars. This portion is incredibly lightweight, so it really isn't very susceptible to, to light shaking. Um, you don't have this big, heavy, bulky light that's shaking on your handlebars, so that's also a nice feature. You've got a mix of plastic and aluminum construction, a silicone power button, um, these cooling fins, and the overall construction is aluminum, but then the housing itself that surrounds it is plastic. There's a single emitter there, and if you stay tuned to the video, you can watch the nighttime beam pattern shots to visualize what that looks like. 
Again, check out the other video that is a complete tutorial of how to use Magic Shine's Bluetooth app for controlling this device. I just wanted to cover some basics here just so that you have an idea of what it does. You, if you purchase the product, then you might wanna get into the other video and see the specifics of how to control things and change things. But in general, what this app allows you to do is control the light from your phone. And the intent isn't necessarily to actually have your phone out to change the light. You can change the settings on the light itself but rather to create profiles or what Magic Shine calls scenes. And a scene might, for example, be commuting. It might be um, like a trail ride. So you have different settings for mountain biking, for road biking, for racing, that sort of stuff. And within each scene, you can basically set all of these different outputs. You can set flash, constant, SOS. And then they also have um, another, I don't know if they're calling this pulse or strobe, but so there's basically three different flashes that you can set at any intensity and then a constant. So um, you have complete control of 1% to 100% in each of those settings. And then you basically can set all of these different levels. So if you wanted 10 different levels, so you click the light 10 different times and have 10 different settings, you could do that. And that is all done within the app. Again, a more complete review on that in a separate video, just search for it in my profile. Um, the only other thing that I think is worth mentioning during this unboxing video is the fact that if I'm to shut this off, so let's say for the sake of argument, turn off Bluetooth, turn off the device, this light is now set in that one mode that you just previously used. So there's no way of cycling between, again, commute, trail, race, all of those things once you've disconnected the device, you're just set to the last one you had. So if that was trail, then it's set to trail. So that's the app in a nutshell. And again, you can control the light settings uh, directly from the light, of course, just not those different modes. Finally, we'll give the system away here. We'll do a couple things independently. The battery, 161 grams. The light, 46 grams. A system weight of uh, 216 grams. So relatively lightweight system for what you're getting. Um, check out the remainder of this video or stay tuned for the remainder of this video to see the beam pattern shots. I'll do my best to put a few different output percentages in there again with that app. However, you have control of 1% to 100%. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to basically report every single percentage output, but I'll give you some real world ones and then show you the flash settings as well. Um, as I mentioned before, MJ902B up for review. You can find that video within my channel. Um, the application to, to review that in full, see everything that you can do within that and explain that deeper, that's available within my channel. And if you appreciate this video, I do um, appreciate the thumbs up. You can subscribe to see more videos of this. Subjectivecyclist.com for the review of this product, more specs, and um, yeah, check out everything that's available there and on YouTube. Everybody, thanks for watching.